hello and uh, welcome to my new video today i am going to share my experience in working on a test automation poc for a flutter application in the past we at persia technologies have worked on mobile automation for native and hybrid applications uh, we had used apm and cucumber for the same however uh, this particular requirement from our client was a bit new to us now as a part of discovery phase we started researching on how to test automation you know uh, for such applications obviously we try to check on google and on internet if someone has already worked on it but there was very little help available on the internet uh, i came across a, a github repository where i could find a poc a small project wherein a sample application was automated but then using it as it is uh, was difficult i really had to struggle a lot to understand few things here and then on lot of doing researching and going through different blogs i could conclude on certain things now here are those first thing i could understand is you need a debug apk uh, which has to be built with certain configurations i will look into detail of these configurations second thing is you will not find any maven repository for the libraries that you need to access the flutter elements now the way we have for uh, apm you don't really get maven repository for apm flutter driver so apm flutter driver is something you are going to need to access the flutter elements and this is a open source library which is available on github so what you will need to do is you will need to download this and then use it in your local repository now the other prerequisites uh, for this automation is same as we uh, have it for the uh, native or the hybrid uh, or application so the prerequisite is like you need uh, to have a jdk uh, you should have android studio uh, you should be setting the path for jdk and sdk Uh, you will need APM inspector to inspect the elements and APM server as well, and obviously uh, the editor that you uh, preferably use for test automation. Now let us have a look at the prerequisite or the configuration that is required for building a debug APK. Now this is the site that I came across. where i could see uh, these are the configurations required as you can see the first point here in uh, mentioned is that you have to compile your flutter application is in debug or profile mode now apm flutter driver does not currently support apps built in release mode now what you need to do or probably these are these are the configurations that you can share with your development team uh, who can actually uh make such configurations for you and build uh, the debug apk for test automation the second step as you can see here is uh, you need to specify this dependency in the pubsec.yml file and then you need to import this dev dependency also you need to have this flutter driver extension and you need to you should also uh, can have this enable flutter driver extension before you run the app so if your development team follows these steps thoroughly and then build the apk for you then you, i think you should be good to use it for flutter app uh, test automation now let us understand how to inspect the flutter app flutter app now you need to use the apm inspector uh, this is what i have already have it open at my end uh, the capabilities that you need for a flutter application is you need to mention the platform name as you can see the automation name uh, i have mentioned for now is ui automator however uh, for the flutter application you need to make it flutter you now why i am using it uh, ui automator too is i'll explain it further and then obviously uh, you need the device name and the apk file path
now let us uh, start the server and uh, let's start the new session now with this capabilities As you can see uh, now the elements are getting loaded the app is already launched uh, sometimes it's just you need to refresh it again and here you can see the application now when I clicked on username uh, I can see the attributes uh, since I'm using UI automator 2 I'm also getting the X path of this element uh, clicking on password again same thing uh, you can see the different attributes same applies for the login button as well so this is what I have experienced that even if I use UI automator 2 I am still able to access the elements now let us see what happens with flutter so when I changed the automation name to flutter and then again on saving and starting the session uh, I could experience that it was taking more than the longer time uh, more than the expected time uh, to load the application in fact at times it wasn't loading anything I was unable to see the app here so this is something very contradictory and even I have seen uh, on different blogs that people have uh, used UI Automator 2 uh, in case they were not able to you know, succeed with Flutter as an automation name. As you can see it is still not loaded. So let's go back and again change it to UI Automator 2 now I think it all depends upon how the application has been developed uh, you may find a blend of flutter as well as some native elements so I think in that case also uh, UI Automator 2 should work for you. However, in certain cases, you know, you have to switch between different contexts. So if where there is a mix of Flutter and native elements, uh, you need to switch the context the way we do for hybrid mobile uh, automation, right? So you have to switch between native and web elements. So similarly for here, uh, if the application has flutter as well as native elements then you will have to switch between different contexts now here in the code base you can see here uh, these are the capabilities so here i am using flutter because uh, the app that uh, i am using is purely developed in flutter And here you can see uh, first uh, you have to actually switch to the flutter context uh, here you can find uh, is the library as i mentioned uh, the, this is something has been downloaded from github and added to the local repository so this is how the flutter elements can be accessed uh, using their different properties most of the time it is by value key and this is what we have used to access the username and password now let me run this test uh, I'm using visor uh, so that I could uh, screencast my mobile screen initial setup may need some time now you can see the app is launched and username and password are filled and then click on the login button and here you go 
so uh, to conclude uh, there are two uh, important things that you need to understand how the application has been developed whether it has a mix of flutter as well as uh, native elements and you will have to first uh, insist your development team to do certain configurations and then share the uh, debug apk with you and you should be able to uh, you know uh, try out different using different automation name using flutter as well as ui automator too i have also uploaded this poc code on gitlab uh, i will be mentioning this link in the description